Amo no be smarty no. Let we wait daughter got chastised for not standing up to greet VP Shetima at the father's funeral or at the parents' funeral. So my correct people welcome back to my channel once again if today is your first time of joining me you're super super welcome to blessing media and please if you have not really subscribed to this channel please go ahead and click at the subscription button like the video share the videos and also don't forget to give it a thumb up for inside this particular update my correct people no be smart in my ear down here eh? <laughs> in fact sometimes when i look at what people do it marvels me so much and this is not just only me it have really got a lot of reactions on social media yes from other netizens who also reacted to this particular comment and also sensational comments that have been coming out from social media towards this young lady who lost three persons from the family parents and also a brother yes a moral police on x has called out herbert wigwe's older daughter for not standing up to greet the vp yes the vice president of nigeria kazim shetima guys if we can remember that Wigwe and the son and also the wife lost their life last month and these have really gotten a lot of reaction it touches a lot of people because if you don't have feelings that is where it will not touch you a lot of people cry day and night because of this particular incident because it's too much when i say it's too much it's too much so as for the past two days now Tochi have been paying a touching tribute to the, her late brother and also the parents. First of all, I think the day before yesterday it was for her brother, late and uh, her late brother Cheesy, who she pays a very touching tribute to. In fact, on that on that festival day she was not able to finish that tribute. It was, it was her friends who also helped her out to finish because she was tearing up. It was not easy. We understand that her situation is not easy. For someone to lose about three persons in three important persons in your family, in your life, is not easy. A lot of people was even like she she have mind though, honestly. There are some people that cannot even stand there to read that one single line of, of words. But she was able to like, you know, throw one or two before uh, the touching one really got her down and she was like, you know, crying before her friend now stood to finish it up. So yesterday one was for her father, which she also stood there to read the touching tribute as well to the dad. Then after that, guys, we all know that a lot of personalities came there to honor him. Yes, guys, we all know that he's a well-known man. According to the information that people are giving, he's such a wonderful person, a wonderful man, yes, who cares for others. So a lot of people were there. And after that, guys, we saw this particular picture that surfaced online. Yes, we saw where this is uh, Tochi, uh, Let Sweetway's daughter, and the VP, Shetima, who, you know, gave out a handshake to her. And that particular picture you saw there got a lot of reactions. Some group of people decided to use that picture to drag this lady, calling her names and also say she's not well trained, she doesn't have respect, is she supposed to sit down to have a handshake to the VP? That every other person you saw in this particular picture, yeah, here is Ali Kudangote, stood up to greet the VP. The vi ex vice president of Sibanjo also stood up to greet the VP. So why must she sit down? And give a handshake to the vice president so this reaction was so much reaction reaction from x that is from twitter and i think a lot of netizen did not really find this funny because so many people were like ah i don't know how people do things can people consider their fellow human being in fact guys when i look at that i was like okay anyway let me not say much let me go ahead and read that how this particular comment came in how this group of people reacted to this particular picture you are seeing here before i put one or two coming from me and also how others reacted to this but no be everything that person go talk oh. for this like where we did but people are going through a lot a lot not in terms of this what happens to this lady is not everybody that can withstand it that is one point let's take a look at how they react to that all right from the reaction no thai abubakar said most of them don't have regards for northern leaders you remember how that fat singer acted when buari presented an award to her hmm. who is the fat singer anyway i don't know say they doesn't have regard for northern leaders okay then why this one is coming from sadiq jubri who also wrote say same man different regards whoever that girl is she lacks proper home training you don't shake a person old enough to be your father while sitting down. Okay. 
this is what Sadiq say. You don't shake someone who is, in fact, who is up to be your father while sitting down. Okay. Then we also have this one coming from, from Jamila Yusuf say, true, even the former VP stood up for the current VP. Huh. So he is actually reacting to what Sadiq wrote. Then from there, we have Wozo Bia who say, she's not a politician. She's not looking for political appointment. Why would she stand up for him? Okay. Then we also have this one coming from the light love who say Nigerians are idle and empty. So to stand up and greet the VP is more important to the confused girl grieving the buying of her loved ones. Thank you. Help me ask this question. Mm -hmm. So guys, as I'm talking to you, this really went viral. A lot of reactions. So when I said a lot of reactions, a lot, a lot, whole of reactions that she shouldn't have sit down. She would have stand up to greet her VP. Hmm. Anyway, this lady is not meant to be blamed. Let's just be realistic and sincere to this. It's not everybody that this kind of thing happen that will be organized in her brain. She'll be thinking a lot of things. That is just, imagine one only, the affect person, talk more of three. One only, the affect person, talk more of three. We are talking about the dad, we are talking about the mom, and we are talking about a senior brother, according to her, who she described as her bestie who she described as the ATM she have, who she described as everything. So guys, you know what it means. And aside from that alone, she's also having younger siblings that she would take care of. In fact, this lady, she's bold enough, oh, honestly, she's a woman indeed. She have the heart. It's not everybody can stand there. Ah, One word alone can make you to start crying it. But she's somewhat courage, patient, and you know, this is what I need to do. And this is the last respect I need to give to my, my, my people. And I don't think it's right for people to continue to drag her the way they are doing it right now. Let's give it a second thought. Let's call it spade a spade. Yes. This life will be there. Respect, respect, respect. Yes, everybody, we know that respect is good to be given. But not in a situation like this. When think, talking about this, at least we should also consider the situation of that person. The kind of mindset... Her mental health at that point in time, what she's going through, both in her heart, her mind, and everything. We should also consider that for those that are dragging her. That is what I think I can drop here. So, guys, as of today, they don't carry the body of the parents and the brother enter inside River State. Maybe that news I'll be bringing it later, guys. This is very, very emotional. It's not easy, honestly speaking. But for now, let me just drop this here. Please don't forget to, you know, drop your own reaction. What do you think about this particular? video don't forget to drop your opinion and your comment in the comment section thank you guys and god bless you bye bye for now